Hello, everyone. I'm very glad to be here today. <laughs> Maybe some of you could not take any holiday this summer, but for those who could, I guess they are back to your hometown and visit your parents. On such occasions, I'm sure you felt relaxed and comfortable. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk about my own story. Those who saw my profile on the TEDx HG homepage can guess what I'm going to talk about. Now, I'm a student at Hokkaido Gakuen University in Sapporo, but my hometown is Tomokomai, which is a little far away from Sapporo, almost one hour by train. When I commute between Tomokomai and Sapporo, I notice some differences between local and urban areas just by looking out of the train window. This makes me think about what advantages my hometown has and how this can be developed. In my hometown, I think there is a lot of excellent food, like haskap, which is a kind of wild berry, and hokigai, a kind of clam. In fact, hoki clam curry is well known in Hokkaido. <laughs> but I think there is room for a greater nationwide recognition. Of course, I hope that everyone in Japan can taste hokkiran curry. <laughs> but I also, and there is room for a greater nation, mm, mm, a need for my hometown to make a greater impact in the media. After thinking about it for a while, I've come up with my own ideas about what is necessary to develop local communities. <coughs> I think three factors are necessary for the development of local communities. These are quaintness, outsider's opinions, and cooperation between local communities. <laughs> First, People's attention needs to be attracted if local events and products are to be known to everyone. For that, I think the quaintness of local communities can be effective in getting people's attention. But the unique qualities of local areas can only attract attention for a short time. Second, outsiders' opinions, sometimes criticisms, are necessary because they can vary the direction in which local communities are developing and provide useful ideas for further development. Lastly, the development of local communities must occur in conjunction with the development in other local communities. I'm sure such cooperation will lead towards a cycle of overall development. By the way, do you like cooking? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Imagine that the developmental process of a local community is like cooking. If every cook follows the same recipe, the same dish will be cooked. I think more sophisticated chefs may add some special tweets to the cuisine to differentiate their restaurants from others. These small differences give a special persona to their restaurants. In the same way, the quaintness of local communities can be an effective means of attractive attention from outside and therefore help develop such communities. However, these special twists the chef makes may not always appear to the clientele so the chef must adjust his or her approach. That's when customers' opinions are valuable. Likewise, opinions from outsiders can contribute greatly to the development of local communities. Also, even if a dish is improved, a single excellent dish can not satisfy all customers. For this to happen, it after us, soups and salads will give the overall meal a significant edge. It's a collaboration over all the dishes. 
which improves the entire restaurant experience. This is what I mean by cooperation between local communities. In short, I think the quaintness of local communities, outsiders' opinions, and the cooperation between local communities, for the development, which are very important for the development of local communities. So far, I focused on the economic development of local communities. Another thing I should mention is the taste of our meal also depends on compassion or the warm-heartedness of the person who cooks it. Not everything is about the cooking technique or recipe themselves. I'm sure the same is true of the development of local communities. Lately, many people have left their own local communities and moved to urban areas for work and study. They tend to prefer a cosmopolitan city life and disregard old-fashioned small town life. In other words, they likely forget their own local communities. I'm sure childhood, I'm sure childhood memories can help revive a home of compassion towards these communities. Please remember your hometowns and the sacred places where you used to hang out. The taste of dishes your parents cooked in your first love. Every memory will help develop compassion towards these communities. If you have old photographs, please share them with your friends. To sum up, I would like to emphasize three factors which are very important for the development of local communities. The quaintness of local communities, outsiders' opinions, and cooperation between local communities. You may agree or disagree with my suggestions, but I hope you will consider what I believe is a serious issue the fans is now facing. It's important to remember people's nostalgic memories can help, can lead to a greater sense of compassion towards these communities. I firmly believe this feeling of compassion can have a great impact in the media. I hope this talk will help you revitalize your own communities. Thank you.